You got today's paper? No, nah, man, we're out. Run out about eight o'clock every day. Any idea when they're gonna start delivering door to door again? No, I mean, I'd like to know when they're gonna start bringing mail by my house again. Yeah, you're right. See, I did that pretty girl for me, all right? Damn it. This happens every time the slightest breeze kicks up. You have to do that in here? I do to keep warm with the gas or electricity. <laughs> So you're recovered? They don't use that word. But I'm in remission. You want some beets? I always like beets when I get the munchies. No, that's okay. Did any of your neighbors come back after the storm? Mm. And do you know how much water the house got? Wasn't here then. Mm. Is it normal to take pictures of a house at night? Well, curb appeal is not exactly a huge factor in the Ninth Ward right now. Well, then it doesn't matter if I'm here. I probably dressed the place up. So nobody knows you're here then. I'm gonna have to ask Miss Hazel's son if that's okay. You've got all these candles. Well, you don't have to worry, those poor folks. 
I'm taking care of the place. I'm not going to be here that long. I'm getting myself ready to move on anyway. Well, I should really get back home. I'll try and think of some place you can go. And maybe in the meantime, you can talk to some of your relatives. Thank you for the little break. And if you don't mind my asking, where do you get your weed? All my sources have dried up since the storm. The human mind is a powerful thing. What it can conceive and believe, it can achieve. Hello, my name is Dorian Bird, and I'd like to teach you the secrets for a better, more successful life. Make your goals specific and realistic, then write them down on a small index card and keep it in your pocket. Look at it throughout the day. Read it to yourself. Read it out loud. Imagine it in your mind's eye. See yourself effortlessly accomplishing it. If you do this, you will achieve your dreams. That's the magic of having a goal. Feliciana, hurry up! I'm coming! Hold your horses! You better not miss that bus, girl. I saw a temp job today. I need to be at that dental school in like 15 minutes. I'm going. Relax. Are you gonna kiss me before you go? Bye, Mama. Bye. All right, boys, get in line to pay my light bill. Okay, okay, Mackie. I'll uh, I'll drop it off this afternoon. Okay. Hey, Matt. It's me, Sandra. Long time, no? Listen, I'm sitting at my computer and I just bought tickets to New Orleans. So I want to make sure you're going to be in town. I know this is super last minute, but I'm so excited to see you. Both of you. Anyway, call me. Shit. What time did you get up this morning? We have to finish putting that soundproofing up. It's impossible to get any work done in here. Yeah, but I'm getting good though, right? Want to get some breakfast? Uh, I can't. I, I have too much shit to do today. Buy one. Get one free. Wow. Glad to see you've started writing again. <laughs> do you mind? Oh, honey, uh, remember I got that dental appointment at 2. I'm going to need the truck. Liz? Arrested Friday on charges that they were part of a crack cocaine and heroin selling operation. All of them could face life in prison. Yeah, that was another fire last night when I came home from work. Hold on. Hi. Uh, I'm here for 2 o'clock. You're late. You fill these out, and your student will be with you as soon as she's ready. No, this is a different one. A dental school. Uh, this must have been a trailer or something because it smelled awful. Like somebody was burning Barbie dolls or something. <laughs> Matthew Bergeron? Matthew? Oh, right this way. Okay, just a few questions before we get started. Have you ever had any allergic reactions to any of your medications? Uh, no. Oh. How often do you floss? Um, almost always. Okay. Do your gums ever feel sensitive or bleed when you brush or floss? No. Um, I mean occasionally, I guess. Okay. Do you drink alcohol? Just socially. 
Okay, and of course, no illegal drugs. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm just going to bring you in the correct position. much better. Cedric? Hello? Can you put these houses up online? This is getting ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Uh, the electricity is going out of my office. Well, I don't know what the hell's going on down there. My brother's a top producer in San Diego, and he thinks the listing prices you suggested are way too low. You know, I don't think we can even get 40000 for this place. All that land is going to be hot property in a couple of months. Developers can't wait to get in there. The way to go is to sell them as vacant lots. And FEMA is offering free demolition, so I file the request to demolish that one and the Flood Street house you saw yesterday. You asked them to demolish Flood Street? That place is actually in in good shape structurally. It, it's been gutted. My brother said we'll get more just selling the empty lots. You know they already got plans to put a million dollar golf course smack dab in the middle of the lower nine. FEMA is doing these free demos, but we have to get in before the deadline. Now I'm going to put you down as a contact with FEMA to call because I, I don't know what the hell's going on down there. She said you're going to need to go down to the city hall. To <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Is somebody there? Uh, there was a dog. There's a fucking dead dog. Okay, let me just bring you back up. I think you're ready for the amalgam. I'm gonna go ahead and get my faculty advisor to look over everything and um, I'll be right back to fill you up. Great. Okay. Thank you. Oh. 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 So, how's the life of an independent media advisor? I guess that means you, uh, you sell advertising, doesn't it? Uh, hi, exactly. Uh, 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 uh. Save your life story for someone who doesn't have his fingers in your mouth. <laughs> mm-hmm. 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 You see all the decay on this molar here? Um. That's all gonna come out. Distal 29, mesial 30. Okay. I can't imagine anybody can afford to pay for advertising this economy. It's gonna be a rough job. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Huh? Hmm? Oh. Yeah. See, that needs more lidocaine right there. But I already gave him a carpool and a half. He's been here since two. You've done two fillings in three hours. His anesthetic wore off an hour ago. Okay. You're going to be fine. Just remember what we talked about, okay? Okay. Nice to see you. <sighs> okay. Open. Hey, girl. I thought you'd forgotten about me. I still got love for you. I just, I've been really busy with all this real estate shit. Well, that's good. You making a big money yet? I don't even want to talk about it. It's not working out how I thought it was. I have no food. I have no money. 
And of course, I have no fucking pot. I'll go raid your parents' fridge. I'm sure they'd be happy to see you. I don't even want to deal with them right now. I'll have to see them soon enough for the gory spectacle that is Thanksgiving with the Millers. I'm gonna make matters really crappy. The internet is down again. But you can come over by my house. The internet's working at the moment anyway. I don't want to get in y'all's way. Oh, that's cool. Feliciana is some quiet thing, so we won't be here anyway. Really? Because that would rock the fucking house. Yeah, we come over. We can brainstorm on some alternative ways to make some money. Actually, I have an idea. You don't have any hot water, do you? Hell no. What do you think? This is America? <laughs> you can take a hot shower whenever you feel like it. Thanks for picking me up, babe. What's going on lately? Nothing. Is something bugging you? <laughs> uh, I'm not exactly in the greatest condition for one of these conversations. Uh, no. I, don't, I mean, I don't know, just the usual shit, you know? I, like, I'm sorry. Um, just ignore me if I'm being a jerk. Smell like an ashtray. Well, you need to shave. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Think you can take it? Pretty tough. What's going on? I'm gonna do something about the plastic. Now I know. I made it up and Mr. Otis said he loved it. You know, I could use some help with this song I'm working on. The next time I come over, do you think you would sing it with yeah. me? Yeah! <laughs> Mr. Otis says I'm really good at harmonizing because I have an excellent ear for pitch. And he has oh, his okay. brass band. His fast time is over. Mama needs a long time. Why don't you go and get ready for bed, okay? Now I know. <laughs> Want to roll something? Always. Liz, did you pass me that uh, little knife thing? Liz, hello? I guess 
how are we going to get rich? Um, selling drugs? No. Does it have anything to do with sex? Because... No. Mm. No, Jesus. <laughs> Check it out. We're going to go on welfare. We're going to say that you are taking care of five kids. They're not yours. <laughs> I heard about this thing. It's called guardianship care, right? I heard about it when I was working at the social services office. If you're the primary caregiver for kids that you're related to, you can get welfare. Okay, so all we got to do is we say it's like your nieces and nephews, right? And your sister's off tweaking in some trailer park, and she's dumped the kids off on you. My sister is nine. It doesn't matter. All we got to do is make it up. Make it sound good. Oh, um, how old's your brother? I mean, he's 30, but he's a Zen monk, remember? It doesn't matter. As long as the story sounds good, and when they start asking questions, you can ad lib. Wait. Where are we going to get all those kids? We don't need bodies, okay? All we need is fake social security cards. And they can be all blurred and faded from wading in the water and shit. Doesn't matter, okay? Now let me let me tell you this. If if you have five kids, no income, twenty seven hundred bucks a month. Yeah. Alright, so now you gotta come up with a backstory. Think of some names, birthdays, stuff you can remember, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can make the cards, and I can make them look good, and I won't be missing anything. I still got a cousin that works for social services, so we'll be good. Mm. Thanks for letting me use your computer. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> what is so damn funny? <laughs> Why are we doing this? It's just gonna crack again. So I guess we just let it fall into decay like everything else in this fucking city. Lift it up. I am lifting. It's going to crack again because the problem is not the plaster. It's the fucking shoring. I told you we should. You want to take this. over the renovations list? Fine. I'll get out of your fucking way. Fuck you. Jesus. Picture the future time and place where you are living your dream. A full screen Technicolor vision full of wonderful sights, smells, tastes, and sounds. Imagine it. Hello? Hi, I'm calling for Miss Abby Muller. Abby Miller. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Miller. I'm calling on behalf of the Work at Home Network. You contacted us to take the first steps to making your dream a reality. I have an opportunity available today where you can make up to $20,000 a month. Does this sound like something you might be interested in? Yes. We're offering our associates a chance to save their friends thousands of dollars a year on home insurance. Do you know anyone who would like to save thousands of dollars a year? Yeah, of course. Oh, great. Well, I have to warn you, Miss Miller, these positions go very quickly. I'm just going to need a credit card number, and your expiration date, please. What time is it? I don't know. Too early? Shit. <laughs>
you're all set. Thanks for coming in on such short notice. Sure. Something the matter? Well, it's a long story. It's just Dr. Keeley doesn't think I'll finish my clinicals in time. Well, those who can't do. <laughs> well, I absolutely have to finish by the end of this term. Why? Because I just have to. Randy, how old are you? Twenty-five. Twenty-five? I have friends in their forties who still talk about what they're going to be when they grow up. They're going to be a fine dentist. Best I ever had. <laughs> Thanks. You're a great patient. a long growing season. That just brings out a lot of nasty stuff. Bugs, viruses, fungus. Miss Ruby? I've been doing some research and there's a nonprofit that's offering apartments. I don't need anybody's charity. Right, but what if you couldn't stay here? Well, who's going to put me out? You? <laughs> How was your doctor's appointment, Miss Ruby? Is everything okay? Everything. 
everything is great. What, y'all making a movie? It's a documentary. Oh. Thanks. What if we name one of our children Maybelle? I've always loved that name for a girl. Wait, I think that's one of my boys. It is. This guy named Bill. He's coming into town later on tonight. I told you about him? Maybe. I lose track. Let me guess, let me guess. Okay. He's a skinny white guy. I do date black guys sometimes. When I meet one that I actually like. If you like them so much, why don't you date them? I date people, not colors. So wait, are you trying to call us colored now? Relax, relax, relax. Sister Shabazz, come on. <laughs> you know, come on, come on, come on, come on. We have a picture of Bill. Don't look. You don't want to see any of these pictures on here. I don't want you to get the wrong impression. I've already seen your dirty pictures, Georgia. <laughs> Come on. Wait. <laughs> You're not even supposed to be on this computer. They were up there when I was doing that thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right, 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 right. But don't be no, embarrassed. See. Don't be embarrassed. You know, I was actually thinking about putting up a personal ad myself. Oh, right, right, right. You, Maybe not quite so explicit. Uh huh. But I could work up to that. What do you think of this one? Mm, I love it. Your tits are epic. Right? <laughs> you know what I think I like about this plan? It's modern day patronage. Mm -hmm. The government mm -hmm. is the Medici's to our Leonardo. Medici's? Okay. It's how we'll fund mm -hmm. art in an artless world. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Look at this one. I like this one. I think my shoulders are sexy. Mm. <laughs> People love the sound of their own name. In fact, brain scientists have shown that hearing our own name stimulates the same pleasure centers as smelling a delicious dessert. Hi, Bernadette. It's Abby. From Homeschool Group? Listen, Bernadette, I heard you're moving back, and I was wondering, do your parents still have insurance? Oh, oh, oh okay, Bernadette. Well, well, I actually know a better company. Um. Maybe I could send you information to give to your mom. Oh, okay. Cool, so I'll send it out. Okay, bye Bernadette. You are the sum of what you do most. Say no to challenges, take the path of least resistance, and it will show. Practice self-discipline, and it will also show. Your will get stronger every time you use it. And of course, the opposite is also true. Come on, you should put up your own profile. No. Come on. No. I'm against having feelings. <laughs> Can I come in now? The mosquitoes are out. Oh. Yeah, baby. We're done talking. 
I love the guitar. I'm learning a place so I could be a singer slash songwriter. Girl, you are too much. You gonna come over here and kiss me? That is a lot. You're for killing me. I'm supposed to. I'm your fat mama. <laughs> mama, talk normal. Uh, we don't got neighbors here. We talk like a bunch of hick black people. But we're around white people. We talk all like Harry Potter and everything. <laughs> You guys don't have to talk differently around me. I'm down with brown. All right, girl. You heard it. Did you hear that? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I I meant for you to get the tape from the car. I guess I should have told you that. What's the tape for? It has a song on it that's gonna play for you. So play it. No, I know it's just that like, there's like parts on the and and they're all on the tape. You can go through a couple times to show me all the parts. I don't mind. Let's start from the beginning. Here's the oh. lyrics. And you sing that it's the same a lot. How far is the morning? You go. How far is the morning? I got your message, and actually, it's just going to be me. Frank's not coming. There's um, there's a lot of changes going on, and I just wanted to clear my head and talk about it with someone. So, I guess I'll see you soon. What? How come you threw away your paintings? Because I don't like them. Well then fix them. God, I'm so sick of this freaking half-assing attitude in this town. Freaking? Are you drunk, church boy? I mean, if you're not gonna finish anything, at least paint over them and save us some money. Well, that's not dramatic enough for you. I don't finish anything. What about your 500-page novel? What about that story Leo keeps trying to get you to finish? He loves your fucking writing, Matt. You could probably put grease on a napkin and he'd publish it. I'm going to bed. I don't feel good. What's the matter? Ах, мой родный, мой природный, мой 
Social justice and solidarity. Yeah, yeah. this flyer looks very familiar. <laughs> oh, you see them? Yeah, yeah, I saw them on top of myself. my yeah, flyer. On you top understand? of your Your flyer is on top of my flyer. Does my flyer look like to you can, that you well, can put your flyer on top yeah, of my yeah, flyer? I'm sorry, I didn't. I wasn't trying to. I'm just. I'm organizing. Yeah, I'm just making Everybody's invited. I'm trying to do something Come for the nice. community. Come you know what I mean? Come it's like, nice. what are you doing? Jesus. Are you serious? Free country. Idiots. Ridiculous. Fucking Idiots. ridiculous. You know what? You're probably not even rushing, you worm. And you guys suck. Yes. Here's my right. diploma. Goddamn. Here's my diploma. 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 You should smoke him out and get him to talk about his dreams. You know what he wants. Yeah. That's what I was just saying, though. He doesn't smoke pot anymore. But what? Matt. My boyfriend. <laughs> I was just telling you how he gets pissed when I smoke pot. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was on some other brainwave. Jesus. Fucking pothead. Speaking of which, this is cash. Do you want to pack another one? That was all I had. It's totally fucking dry. I don't know what's going on, but it's going to affect the recovery. How can we expect the good people to move back home when we can't even offer them basic amenities like marijuana? I know someone who always has some, but she will not reveal her source. I bet she won't sell you any either. Ugh, the freaky people do that. They won't tell you their hookups because they want you to have to hang out with them to smoke. Cool. Can I borrow this? Mm, it's community property. This Cordia is going to be psyched. This Cordia. Ugh, fuzzy undies. <laughs> you know, I heard she made like $10,000 during the vacation panhandling at intersections across this great nation of ours. Whatever. This party is cool. She gets shit done, even if it's not always perfect. <laughs> that weed wasn't bad for a little bit. I got some juice. Should probably play a little bit before it wears off. But you can hang out though. <laughs> I should get going. I'll see you.
just finished uh, that big show recently, right? That uh, dancing thing? The dancing ghoul. <laughs> What's the point? I mean, I'm 35 years old and struggling to pay rent. And meanwhile, I've got friends like you who own houses, businesses, live like grown-ups. Yeah, but you live in New York. You have to sodomize Michael Bloomberg to get an apartment <laughs> in New York. It's like a relatively new law. That's true. How's Frank? I've been seeing other people. But you're married. <laughs> Who? This girl I was performing with. And some other people. I did it once and I remembered how wonderful it feels to discover somebody new like that. How much energy it gives you. I don't feel like I should have to give that up. So what are you going to do? Well, while we try to figure things out, I'm staying with this Russian guy from the theater group. Frank thinks we're just friends. I guess I'll come clean when I go home. How do you deal with the guilt of what you're doing to Frank? It's not something I do to Frank. It's something I do for me. Anyway, how's Liz? Fine. Really? Yeah, you know, she still smokes pot. Plenty of people smoke pot. It's like the whiskey of our generation. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Uh, listen, uh, I hate to be that guy, but I have some appointments this afternoon, so I should probably head out. Of course. Well, let me walk you back to your hotel. It's really not far. Uh, I mean, no, I mean, this is in New York. It's not safe. I could use a walk anyway. Okay. And uh, if you don't do anything later, uh, we're doing this little Thanksgiving thing over at the house. We'd love to join us. Really? I wouldn't want to intrude or anything. No school today? No, it's Thanksgiving. I'm going to Mississippi to see my grandparents. <laughs> Your kids got it made. I wish I got off so many holidays. Everybody gets off at Thanksgiving. <laughs> Not to be rude, but I don't allow strangers in my room. I'm Bill, virtual friend of your mom's. Get out now, I'll scream so loud. My uncle over here next door. And my uncle's a big black hick that hates sleazy white chumps like you. Get out. Now. I'm not playing. Get out. Happy Thanksgiving. So the way it works in Washington is whenever they see a big disaster... Hey, can you pass ahead, the cranberry fluff, please? ...well-connected guys up in FEMA, well, he'll get on the phone and he'll call a friend of his down in Houston and he'll say, hey, reactivate that disaster response company. Oh my God, I love this stuff. money about to come down the pipeline. So this guy, he'll get on the phone, he'll take that, he'll get on the phone and call five of his friends and tell them the same thing. And then they'll tell five friends and so on down the chain, like some fucking shampoo commercial. Jack. Sorry. Anyway. These shell companies, they'll shave off half the money before they pass it down to the next company. Until maybe 1% of it gets to the company that's actually hiring the guys to pick up the shit on the street. Well, then there's all these so-called nonprofits snatching up all the recovery money. And it's that much actually, more public money. That there are some government programs that are really good. You say what? I said there are some government programs that help people, like food stamps and, and like in How's Europe. the real estate going? I'm not making any money yet, but um, I do have one place under contract. Only one? I thought the market was very active right now. Your father's doing what? Four inspections a day? Well, I'm doing one for her tomorrow. 
She'll be okay. It takes a while for things to get started. So what's this music thing you were talking about? Since when are you into music? I, I played piano and sang for like a decade, Mom. Well, yes, I realize that. And, and you were so beautiful when you were in the choir. In fact, I don't know why you're not still doing that. What about the uh, photography thing? I love those pictures you took right after the storm. I don't know. I, I guess I, I feel like it's time for me to grow up. I just don't feel like cataloging all the places of my childhood that are, you know, destroyed. That's true. People are always happier when they focus on the future. Dorian Bird says Does that Dorian Bird say anything about otherwise smart little girls who steal their mother's credit cards to buy some get-rich-quick scheme? She got some work-at-home stuff on her ma's credit card. She's saving up her money to buy us all a new boat. But who's going to buy insurance from a nine-year-old girl? With no companies writing homeowners policies, the whole thing's a waste. No one told me that. Yeah, well, at least we got someone to take care of us. But no offense, but Zen meditation and rock music, it's just not going to pay for my meals through a straw when I get to the old folks' home. <laughs> Lena had to drive around to six different home warehouses, literally six, between Slidell and Homa, to get enough of the same colored shingles for our roof. And I've never had deep fried turkey before, Linda. This is great. Mm, yeah, this is wonderful. Cheers. Yes. To the Indians. Mm, mm. What's Frank doing for Thanksgiving? Mm. Having dinner with his folks, I guess. He didn't want to come down? I know Matt would love to see him. Yeah, we're kind of taking a break from each other right now. How long are you staying? I haven't decided. I guess that's one of the perks of being self-employed. Right, Matt? On Monday, there's this second line for social justice and solidarity. Full of strippingly off the tongue, right? <laughs> It'll be cool. I'm gonna march with the pussyfooters. What is the second line? It's an African-American New Orleans tradition. It's a parade with brass bands and dancing. Like a jazz funeral, but nobody dies. My friend Discordia is organizing it. You should come. It'll be really cool. Man. Yeah, you gotta get a load of this uh, this girl, Fuzzy Undies. Fuzzy Undies. Uh, her name's Discordia. Her name is Ashley. I know this because she went to prom with my cousin Joey in Chalmette. <laughs> and now she's organizing a little social event for all the hipster children. Now she goes by Discordia. You should give people the respect of calling them by the name that they choose. Yeah, but. When you choose to christen yourself with a sub-adolescent comic book name, then I get to call you whatever I want. Besides, I stole the name from Madeline. Um, I'd really love to come. I hear there's all kinds of people who haven't been able to come back to the city yet. Anybody can come back if they really want to. <laughs> Are you kidding me? People got a one-way ticket out of the city. They didn't know where they were going until they got there. Pass the potatoes. Yeah. I think it's right. terrible. I did some work with this nonprofit in New York, and they were using storytelling to help survivors process their experiences. It was called The Voices of Katrina Project. The, the, the Voices Project? Yeah. Or Stories of Katrina? Mm -hmm. My friend is working on one of those. The People's Katrina Front, or... Um, the People's Front of Katrina. It's these two two groups, and whenever they meet Solidarity, up, Solidarity Ridge. Yeah, you've seen them. They, they just go crazy. They just it's very, it's counterproductive in my opinion. Well, the important thing is that everybody has a voice, and that everybody who wants to has the opportunity to return. Yes, right, Matt. Not everyone can be a media mogul. Are the pies warm? I, I want to hurry up and eat dessert before I realize I'm cold. <sighs> oh shit, Mother Christ! Jack! Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, shit. Proud to call it home, baby. Liz, I'm sure you found a lighter. I got one. Lando bring light. 
Should I give you one more chance? Well, you're the one who's always making fun of me Always disrespectful to me It's too much to ask Yeah, my life has changed My heart goes down, can't no one blame me Why do I have to ask? Don't you think it's leaning a little to the left? Yeah, that's the chimney, so it'll pull it that way. I'll know more once I do the level survey. Come on, I'll give you the tour. You remember this place growing up? The old Gondolfo house. Really old guy with all the broken sewing machines. Yeah. <laughs> I totally remember that. His name was Gandolfo? Mathematical is what you guys called him. You can multiply and divide numbers in his head, as many figures as you can give him. Oh, God, I remember that. <laughs> I totally forgot that he lived here. Mel, I'm off like a turd of hurdles. So what do you think about this neighborhood? Well, it's gotten a lot more established lately. There are a lot of artists and young professionals moving in. What are the demographics like? It's about half renters and Are half. there a lot of blacks? Brendan! We're having a baby here, okay? You don't have to answer him. It's just the Missouri and him coming out. Stop it. Look, I don't know why you want to stay in New Orleans anyway. It's the septic tank of America. All the water drains out to the Gulf and only the shit's left behind. Hello? Hey, Georgia, it's Madeline. You've reached Georgia. And I'm not in right now. But if you leave your name and number, I'll catch you later. Bye. Georgia, it's Madeline. I fucking hate people. I can't work with them anymore. We need to kick your plan into high gear. So climb off Gomer's dick and call me back. Bye. Liz, what up? Have you scored yet? I hate people. You want to see if that lady with the pot is around? And then I heard there's this federal water bill that's getting passed to siphon water off the Colorado River to Las Vegas. Billions of dollars. And, and no one ever says, why do you move to the desert if you wanted water? But then everybody tells us. <laughs> it's because people hate New Orleans. We're the poor black canary in the American coal mine. It's because we let people drink in the street. <laughs> we'll take any holiday that lasts an afternoon at most and turn it into ten days of parties and parades. It's because we got history, and America prefers to forget. It's I hate to interrupt the deaf poetry jam here, but I have to go to the bathroom. Should I just go out back? No, don't. No. Um, it's too much junk. The bria. I got a setup in the bathroom over here. A setup? The two buckets and one's filled with dried leaves. For when you finish. Now you a smart girl. You'll figure it out. Yeah, let's figure it out. Do you mind if we roll another one?
What do you plan on hanging that on? If you don't even have the... Boyfriend in the medical profession? No. Oh, oh, you don't. Oh. Yeah, we should. Uh, we should grab a cup of coffee, or you know, we should grab. Uh, we should grab something to eat. Grab. 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 Weird word. You know, teeth are important. Not like that. It's like eroded or something. I don't even drink Coke or anything. I just drink uh, green tea and just water. And nothing with uh, high fructose corn syrup. I probably just don't floss as much as I should. So, yeah, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. Thibodeau? You can have a seat in the case the worker will be right with you. Thank you. How you doing, babe? Hey. Georgia. What? Nothing. I'm, I'm on the phone. Mm. <laughs> hey, you ready? Ready. And my sister had a little shop. You know, we used to serve plate lunches, gumbo, chicken, nothing gourmet, but um, we was the first ones that started putting shrimp in our cornbread. Now all them shops down there in the quarter putting shrimp in their cornbread. And my sister, she not making a dime. I told her, I told her she should have got a copyright on it. Can you get a copyright on Converse? Child, you wearing that wig hat. <laughs> Something I've been dying to ask you about. 
open. So, Brandy. Yes. Um, think you want to go get a drink sometime? <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> My boyfriend and I joke about that all the time. You know, me saddling up to a bar with my big belly. I mean, I'm only four months, you know? You okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You sure you're okay? Thank you. Okay, this will just sting a little. Open. Eleanor Thibodeau? Eleanor Thibodeau? So, tell me about your kids and their names and their ages. I don't have any kids, but my sister. Hold on. I need a different form for that. Uh, that's guardianship. Now, tell me about your sister. My sister? Yeah, you said something about your sister. She um, passed during the storm? No. I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't belong here. But I. It's sure all fast today. You want it? Thanks, baby. <laughs> Stupid second line.
gotta be fucking me, Moonbeam. This is my friend, she does real estate. <laughs> Hi, I'm Madeline. Hi. I need to talk to you. I'm gonna be moving down here. What? I'm moving down here. It's the paper, man. They're delivering again. Yeah. 
Levántate Yeah. <laughs>